Hey everyone, Teacher Chang here, and today we're going to go ahead and take a look at the tangent secant segment theorem. And if you saw my previous video about the two secant segment theorem, then if you know how to do that, this is just as easy. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this theorem works. So the tangent secant segment theorem states that if you have a tangent and a secant drawn from a common point outside a circle, then the product of the outer segment and the whole of the secant is equal to the product of the square and the tangent segment. So let's go ahead and take a look at this really quickly. Here we have the tangent and a secant. And a tangent and a secant is going to be drawn from a common point outside our circle. So this point right over here. So A is our tangent and B and C combined are going to be our secant. So it says in this next part, it says the product, which means we're going to multiply of the outer segment. So the outer segment in our secant is going to be this B. And the whole, the whole is going to be the B and the C. So the whole of the secant is the B and the C combined. So here we have our outer piece, which is that B, and the two combined to get our whole secant. That's going to be equal to the product of the square of the tangent. So the product of the square of the tangent. So that means that's our a squared. Okay, so whatever a squared ends up being, well, that's going to equal to b times b plus c. Now, in the two secant segment theorem, it's pretty much our outer segment times the whole. And that's going to equal to the other outer segment times the whole. And this is pretty much the same thing, and I'm going to explain why in our first example. So if we take a look at this same uh, this example here, I'm going to look at it kind of like our two tangent secant or our two segment two secant segment theorem, and we're going to go ahead and look at the secant here. So if we take a look at our first secant here, we have our x and our ten. So our x and our ten. That means I'm going to find the product. I'm going to take the outer, which is our ten. Okay, so that's our outer, and multiply it with the whole. Okay, so that's our x plus 10. And then I'm going to make it equal to, now according to this theorem, it's the square of our tangent, or we can look at it as uh, the two secant segment theorem. It's the outer and the whole. So what do I mean by that? Well, if we have our outer, the outer is 18, and the whole is also 18. So if we did 18 times 18, that's the same thing as 18 squared. So that's our tangent squared. So our tangent is our 18 squared. So in the end, it's pretty much the same rule. So let's go ahead and solve this. Well, 18 squared is 324. Okay, and that is equal to, and I'm going to go ahead and distribute this 10 here. And if I distribute that 10, that's going to give us 10x plus 100. Okay, so now all I got to do is solve for x. So I got to get rid of that 100 on the right. So I subtract 100 on each side. And uh, the 100s on the right will cancel each other out. Leaving us with 224 is now equal to 10x. Okay, and then we just go ahead and divide both sides by 10. And the 10s will cancel each other out leaving us with x. I'm going to write the x on the left. 224 divided by 10 is just 22.4. Okay, so there's our tangent secant segment theorem. So let's go ahead and try one more. So let's do one more problem here and pretty much the same thing. So if I take a look at this particular problem, we have our, uh, our secant and we have our tangent. So the secant, again, is right over here. And anytime we deal with a secant, we're going to do the outer segment, which is the 16, times the whole. And the whole is 16 plus 25. And that's going to equal to our tangent squared. Okay, So our tangent in this particular case is our x. So that's our x squared. So both of these 
will be equal to one another. So we got x squared is equal to 16 times 16 plus 25. So let's go ahead and solve this. Let's simplify this problem a bit. And if I simplify this, well, 16 plus 25 is 41. So now I got 16 times 41 is now equal to x squared. And then I have to multiply 16 times 41. Well, 16 times 41 is 656. So now I got x squared is equal to 656. And now we just got to get rid of our square. So we'll go ahead and square root it. And if you square root it, I'll take my calculator out here. We'll go ahead and square root it. Let me get out of here. So we got 656 and we want to do the square root. So the square root of 656 is going to give us about 25.6. So we'll go ahead and round this. So x is about 25.6. All right, so that's pretty much your tangent secant segment theorem. I hope this helped out. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. All right, good luck, enjoy, and have fun.